Hello Sagittarius, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Oh, okay. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Um, what was going on for you here recently is the Eight of Wands. Communicating. Um, sending messages, loving messages to someone. Maybe some of you guys have been on vacation, um, traveling doing something exciting here mm -hmm. let's see what's going on with the other person what's going on with them recently hmm. I feel like this person is um, really has been really struggling to to come to grips with some things um, that happened before in the past with themselves, with you, um, really just trying to put their focus on, you know, how to forgive and move on is what I'm getting here. Addressing, you know, that devil energy, anything you feel like, you know, holds you back, that is what they've been trying to do here, I feel, okay? Let's see what's keeping you guys from this person. That's Leo energy there. What's keeping Sagittarius from this person? Ten of Cups. Some of you, I feel, um, maybe you've gotten into a relationship that you feel like is better suited for you, for some of you. Um, or maybe you guys feel like this relationship is just not giving you everything that you need. Everything that you feel like you deserve to have in a committed relationship. Okay? Let's see what's keeping them from you. The Hierophant. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe this person is not, is a commitment foe. Okay. Um, they may also be someone that, you know, they like things their way and they're not compromising. They're not having it any other way other than the way that they want it here. And I think that's probably, you know, some of the things that they're trying to address within themselves. Like, you know, do they require too much? Are they being unrealistic? You know, that sort of thing. Okay. Let me clarify this Hierophant real quick. Why is Hierophant here? Why is Hierophant here? Because I just got that both of you may also, you know, already be in relationships. Let's see. Why is the Hierophant here? We have the strength again with the two of pentacles. Hmm. This person may be in a relationship already, okay, and really is juggling here, trying to figure out, you know, who or what they really want. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> what's currently going on for you guys what's currently going on for Sagittarius here that one wanted to flip um, the five of cups maybe some of you guys are feeling very hurt um, because of this relationship that it just was not giving you you know I I'm getting that you know this person may already be in a relationship or a marriage may have been before um, maybe still is and maybe some of you guys did not know about it okay and you thought it was just you and them and maybe some of you have just found out and it's like it's like what the hell what the hell just happened here you know what the hell just happened here? Like, they didn't really love me. They were already with somebody else. Or they're with somebody else currently. Feeling very hurt. Rejected. Um, like, all is lost. There's, there's nothing here. Hmm. Let's see what's currently going on for them. A lot of you guys are really hurt right now and maybe you're traveling to see this person or have traveled to see this person and maybe that's when you found this out yeah this person is is trying to make a decision here they're trying to make a decision here because I'm getting that this person does care for you 
maybe they are actually separated from this person or maybe they met you guys while they were separated from this person and um, but I'm getting strong regret here on your end um, like you should not have put all your time and energy in into this is what I'm getting from this okay this person is needing to make a decision they're they're at a crossroads right now in two minds not knowing what to do very unsure of you know where to go from here well, let's see what you guys your outside influences here what is Sagittarius outside influence the king of Pentacles Huh. Mm -hmm. I'm really feeling like this person was married or either already in a relationship. And I'm feeling like you guys think this person um, conned you, basically. Told you, you know, fed you this fairy tale that they wanted to be with you and only you, wanted to marry you even, um, definitely wanted to be with you. But I'm getting they they already have a commitment somewhere else. You really wanted to be with this person is what I'm getting here. And felt like they were the one, you know, that you could be there for them, they could be there for you, you guys could, you know, possibly even get married one day, um, something like that. Let's see what their outside influence is here. The Nine of Wands. They feel like they've been through the freaking battle. Um, and not really knowing if they can go on or not. But I feel like this person is still willing to fight for this connection. But here again, we have them being very unsure about what to do about, you know, something that they are already involved in as well as with you. And they're not sure whether you would even like listen to what they have to say at this point or even take them back or want to continue on with them. You know, even if they are, you know, separated from this person now or is divorced from this person now. They're not sure, you know, where your head is. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got cards on the jump here. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Let's take that one. The Emperor. Mm. Mm. I feel like this person um, will definitely present themselves. I don't feel like this person um, honestly guys, if this person is in a, in a relationship or in a, in a marriage um, I don't feel like they will totally let go of what they have going on because I get that they like security that they, they like being in control of things um, they like feeling like they have somebody in their corner so I don't get that they really like to take the chance of you know not being with anyone not having somebody that looks to them or looks up to them okay I also feel like you guys are gonna get to a point to where you're standing in your power and you will not let anyone um, you know bring you down or make you feel like you should be happy to be with them or you should accept certain things because I think that you're you're getting over that you're still very hurt right now but I feel like you're, you're getting to a point where, um, regardless of what someone says, you're not going to allow yourself to be anybody's third party. Okay? It's just what I'm getting, okay? So let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? The Six of Wands. Hmm. This is going forward um, successfully, but also being recognized by other people. Okay. Hmm. So what I'm getting with this, guys, so if you're not allowing them to do this to you, 
that um, that's not going to stop their show. They will continue on doing, um, you know, with this facade, with, you know, probably telling people that they're not married or, you know, that they're not in a relationship, but they will continue to get the attention that they seek because, again, I feel like this person um, likes to, they like to be wanted. They like to be acknowledged. They like attention, okay? And they don't ever want to be without attention is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what you, your blockage is here. It's blocking you from them. It's blocking you from them. I think it's the fact that you're not willing to fight for this. Um, you're not willing to, like, back down from what it is that you believe, okay? Mm -mm. You're, you're not backing down. You're, you're not letting yourself be taken in by, you know, this nonsense of being in a third party um, relationship, if that's what this is, you know, not just accepting the fact that somebody says they, um, they're separated or they're divorced or whatever, and not showing you, you know, putting the proof where their mouth is basically. Okay. So let's see <clears throat> what the blockage is for them. The King of Swords, they're arrogant. They're arrogant um, and um, they feel like they can talk their way out of things, into things. Um, yeah. This person is very arrogant. They feel like they can have what they want. That's what I'm getting here. And they may be older than you, may not, um, but I feel like they're very smart. I feel like this is like a businessman, um, business person that is, you know, very calculating in, in what they do. It's what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what the advice is for you guys. What is the advice for Sagittarius? King of Cups. <laughs> Go on. Because you see, the King of Cups is facing out. It's facing forward. Okay? Go on and get somebody that can give you the relationship that you deserve here. Somebody that only has love for you. Only wanting to offer love to you. Be there for you. Okay? This is a committed, loving person here. Emotionally stable. Emotionally grounded. Emotionally mature. Okay, and that goes for you as well. You know, be be open, be receptive to to new things. Is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what the advice is for them. What is the advice for them? The emperor. I think it's for them to own their shit. To be honest with you, to own their truth, to admit to you know what it is that they what it is that they have done. Stop running game. Stop running game is what I'm getting here. Stop being so stubborn. Stop being so... Um, I mean, this is like wanting someone to bow at your feet. I think they really need to take a hard look at themselves here with the Emperor and the King of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. I think this is to, for them to be a man or a woman and own their shit. I'm just getting that and address this this um this ego. This ego. And if they're married, then it's for them to, you know, do right by the partner that they're already with and stop bringing other people into their ish. You know? The outcome for Sagittarius here. The King of Wands. Hmm. Standing in your power. Standing in your power here. Making money moves. Um, doing things that, you know, make you feel good. Involving yourself with people, you know, with like minds. And, you know, this could definitely be 
a same-sex relationship here. It doesn't have to be, but, you know, I feel like both of you, you're standing in your masculine energy if you are a woman, okay? And that's having control of your life, not allowing anyone else to determine how your life is going. You know, outcome for them is the magician. <laughs> very egotistical. Very confident. Very confident. Um, very stubborn. Very aggressive, I feel. Um, this person is confident and that they can get whatever it is that they want very egotistical okay so we have aries gemini um aquarius libra leo um capricorn taurus energy here okay guys we also have piscean energy uh let's see scorpio maybe Alright guys, so that is what I have for you and I will be speaking with you guys soon.